Yo, let's get this going. It's a bowl. Small bowl. I don't like this. Hold your horses. We'll see what happens. Kiff. We don't have much, but always enough for a lost soul. The soup is hot enough. Ooh, okay. Right, give the soup to her. Eat this. You must be hungry. No. Thank you. That's nice of you. Why are you giving her soup? Dirt. That's what she deserves for dinner. What? What an idiot. Do you want her to starve? Please, don't start a fight. Ooh. Oh, you're so kind. Many people would have let me die. People don't listen to me. My entourage didn't even notice they lost me. Who? My husband and his entourage. Oh, a fine husband you have. I divorced my last one for less than that. Divorced? Oh, he's just been beside himself ever since his mother. Maybe now you'll understand what loss feels like. And what you people are doing to us. <laughs> Stop bullying her! Can't you see she's upset? How do they know you? This isn't right. Oh, I'm used to it. I guess that's how it is when your husband holds an office like that. He has to do a lot of things people don't like. And sometimes they recognize me, too. Wait. your husband the Earl of Shiring. Is your husband the Earl of Shiring? I thought you knew. William Hamley. Oh, please don't abandon me too. I, I swear, I'm not. I, I, I can't. What's he like now? I used to know him when I was a girl. <laughs> really? What's he like now? I loathe him with all my heart. I had accepted the arrangement with good will, but he had other plans. How do you know him? Be blunt. He wanted to marry me when I was your age. Apparently he likes young girls, no matter how old he gets. You, too, were supposed to marry him. How come you didn't? He was a beast. So I refused. Y you refused him? It caused a lot of misery. Oh, you're, you're so courageous. I wish I was like you. I, I can't even stand up to the servants. Don't act like you didn't have a hand in the downfall of this land. For years he roamed across the country to raid, rape and kill. I'm sorry. He's no Earl. After all he's taken from us, we should take something from him too. <gasps> she has nothing to do with this. Don't you dare touch her! Can't you see? She's another one of his victims. <gasps> I'll give over. She's in on it too. <laughs> Can you even Idiot. imagine how it must be to be a child married to Hamley? The abuse. 
and the humiliation every single day. I'm so sorry. I'm crying because you know too. Enough to know your pain. I just, I just don't know what to do anymore. Tom, where the hell am I supposed to tether this horse? Oh, it's Walter. He's looking for me. Come with me to Kingsbridge. Come with me to Kingsbridge. People will take care of you there. That should do it. Walter. You. I've not seen you in a long time. William would be very pleased if I brought him your head. No! Don't harm her! If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead. She saved me from the storm. Did she now? Come on, we have to get back to the castle. We've lost too much time already. The girl Elizabeth stays with, stays me. with me. No, she doesn't. Thank you for saving me and protecting me from these people. Come on now, we need to get going. William is waiting. William's wife inspect. Was it my rejection that bittered William to the prospect of marriage for the years that followed? Was I the reason he married so late? After I met Elizabeth, I later found out that she was the daughter of Howard of Weymouth, a wealthy knight and a supporter of Stephen. Elizabeth was only 14 at the time of the wedding. Bishop Walderan wed them in the Cathedral of Sharing, and everyone of importance was invited to the large feast. Elizabeth is a gentle girl who probably felt honoured to be chosen to become the Earl's wife. I dare not imagine how William treated her. One more reason to finally put an end to all this. You found a secret chamber underneath Kingsbridge Cathedral. You, can, you confess to Philip that you burned down the cathedral. Philip's pick is strongly criticised by the church. The war between Empress Maud and King Stephen has ended. You found Elizabeth only after you entered the hut. You brought her some soup. You kept quiet when Walter entered the hut. Did I? I'm confused. Outlaws. Dear Francis, the letters I have written to you over the years surely could be bound into a book. One of our young novices once asked me why I write to you when you are dead. The young can be blunt, but the thing is, I think you are still alive. One day, I hope, I will find you, and then you will read these letters. And when you do, you will know that I was busy writing a book. Because of my book, I may have to talk to Bishop Henry. But that is not the only thing that keeps me awake tonight. Right about the discovery in the crypt. Behind a wall in our crypt, Jack discovered a hidden room. We do not know who built it. But it built is likely it. that Prior James <laughs> hid there, even after he was said to have drowned. That means he was alive when we met in Kingsbridge on New Year's Day, the day of his burial. And Jack told me he saw a man in the church the night it burned down. Was that him? And if so, did he burn in the fire that night? 
writes about Kingsbridge. The dust storm and the drought are taking their toll on all of us. Thanks to our town wall, we are safe from the Earl and the outlaws. The Earl and the outlaws. We've heard of places nearby being raided. We believe the attackers were William Hamley's men. We have enough food to last us another few weeks. But life has come to a halt. Martha believes there will be rain soon. But the storm is only a harbinger of rain. I hope that she is right. Writes about book. I love that sound of the um, quill in the ink. Jonathan worries about my book. The Divine Soul. In Winchester, he heard that Bishop Henry was less than pleased by what I had written. I am not naive enough to pretend I do not know why. I wrote that hope is godly, and since God made each of us, hope and salvation are only to be found within ourselves. Henry sells hope, and I am giving it away for free. If the church should ask me to clarify my position, of course I shall do so. But I feel I must give our people what they need in these desperate times. Mm. And how could I write anything else if this is what I truly believe? End letter. Drink wine, get pissed. <laughs> it must be well after midnight. <sighs> With you, I can be honest about what truly troubles me. Jack told me that he was responsible for the fire in Kingsbridge. I know that it was a long time ago. He but. told me he set fire to the roof because he had heard monks were bad people. Of course, we made the choice to do it for his mum, didn't we? The saint! We must save the saint! Fire! The whole roof is in flames! My god! Don't go in there! Adolphus! The, the saint! We must save him! No! No! Don't go! And, as horrible as it may sound, I cannot find it in my heart just now to forgive Jack. Maybe because this confession comes too late. And from a man who I have learned to trust. <sighs> this is the truth. I should get some air, Francis. The storm has settled down. I know them by heart, but Jonathan insisted we keep them. Jack is still working. <laughs> he always is. A magnificent cathedral, but I would have been more than content with the old one, had it not been burned to the ground. If James died in that fire, then what happened to his remains? He was never properly buried, and that is Jack's fault. 
Jack started the fire. He should have told me. James did not break into the ice. What was he doing in the church? Did he hide or was he hidden? To the cloister? No. I'll take a walk around the cathedral instead. Okay. Hello? I thought I saw someone. So did I. No. Something is wrong. The kitchen door is open. <gasps> that came from the kitchen. <gasps> oh, it's you. You startled me. I, I thought I heard something. Was that you? No, but I heard it too. Maybe Aliena came back. No. No, she's asleep. She returned a few hours ago. Damn it. Jack. Sorry. There's someone in the kitchen. Yes. I think you're right. Stay behind me. I'll go ahead. Cool, we chose to get Jack first, okay? mean you harm. Philip, be careful! Damn it! Philip, throw me a stone! mean you harm. Philip, be careful! Damn it! Philip, throw me a stone! Marcus. Brother Marcus? He took Cuthbert's keys to steal food here from the kitchen. Because of me, Remigius found out. And he left. We never saw him again. Ah. Looks like he came back. You didn't mean for this to happen. No, but... What about him? Don't be afraid. <laughs> ah! Jack! <sighs> Why did you do that, you animal? I will get the others. No! <laughs> what? 
<laughs> He's just a child. Just a child. Jack forgave the child. Just like that. And I forgave him. For that was what he had been when he arrived in Kingsbridge. Just mm. a child. Who was I to judge this man for not confessing earlier what he had done? I had never told his wife, Aliena, that I was responsible for her fate, and for her father's. Even that night, when we all met, I did not dare to tell her. Damn. The walls of Kingsbridge weren't enough anymore. The outlaws had found a way in. We weren't safe in our homes. So, Kingsbridge was attacked, and you two twigs were our only defense. Why didn't Catman chase them away? Sir Catface, Sally. Now, now, do not exaggerate. This is not a siege. We only saw two of them, and one of them was a child. But they almost killed you. They were just looking for food. They didn't mean any harm. It's the drought. It destroyed all the crops. They must eat something. The drought it is indeed, meaning that there will be many more. If we had a decent Earl, the people wouldn't be starving. It is all too easy to blame a desperate child. Forgiveness is much harder. It is. But forgive we must. Can you? Forgive, I mean. I already have. Hamley is the reason for this. He's to blame. It's that simple. Well, there's some good news at least. With the Treaty of Wellingford finally signed, William won't remain Earl forever. What treaty? Winchester is in turmoil about this right now. Stephen and Maud have signed the treaty. Maud's son, Duke Henry, is to be crowned the next king. And, by agreement, all lands are to be returned to their previous owners. But Stephen will continue to rule as long as he lives. Meaning that the earldom will go to the next male heir of Lady Aliena's family. That would be you, Tommy. What? It will not. Why the bloody hell not? Bloody hell. Language? No one will enforce this until Stephen is dead. What is to be done then? If I, I see think, it right, I don't know. The young Henry has sworn to help us. And we only have to wait for his scrawny ass to drop on the throne. And it will all be yours again, my lady. And if Hamley were to fight the decision, he'd have to face the king's army. Well, if they're hungry, can't we just give them something to eat? I'll share. We should, and we will. But there are too many to feed them all. We must do something. Well, I cannot sit quietly and wait until Stephen dies of old age. The Treaty of Wallingford is in place. I won't wait for another 17 years. Not when I'm so close to fulfilling the promise I made to my father. True. But last night, it wasn't that Hamley boy who attacked us. It was a bunch of thieving bastards. Ugh. Well, what do we do about it? Maybe there is nothing we can do but defend ourselves. Right you are. But walls alone won't do. Not when that shite outside piles up higher by the day. 
Things will only get worse if we don't find a way to deal with Hamley. What about his mother? I've heard that Hamley still listens to her, that she still has a say in Earl's Castle. Yes, let's tell his mother. If we spoke to Regan Hamley, we might not need a physical confrontation at all. Speak to that wench, or I'd rather let my blade do the talking. I say it's time we took back your father's castle by force. Even if I'd have to lead an army of outlaws. I don't like either choice, to be honest. Neither do I. So, what do you think, Aliena? I'll negotiate with Regan Hamley. I will go to Earl's castle. Alone. Ooh, a daring idea. Spoken like a true leader. Regan Hamley seems to be in a tight corner herself. She might well be willing to cooperate. I do hope you're right. I'll ride with you. You won't, Cub. Not with that leg of yours. Your mother's right, boy. And too many gingers showing up at their cave might make them suspicious. Oh, that's Ellen. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. That was a quick chapter. The first outlaws have made their way into Kingsbridge. Your novice, your former novice brother Marcus, was one of the outlaws. You have a chance to stay at Earl's Castle and fulfill your oath. Okay. And so, after 17 years, I finally returned to the place I'd once called home. Chapter 19. To return to Wells Castle. Because I had failed to gain support from the people of Shiring, my only hope now was a deal with William Hamley's mother, Regan. A woman whose possible support was only guaranteed by rumor. Off she goes. Earl's Castle, inspect. Originally, the father of Earl of Bartholomew ordered to build a castle a few miles outside the market town of Sharing, which was meant to serve as a seat to the town's Earl. That area, including a small village, the surroundings and the building itself, is known as Earl's Castle. The castle had mainly served as living quarters for the Earl's family, but its defences have rarely been used. After Earl's castle had been violently seized by the Hamleys, all other inhabitants were driven from the estate. Nowadays, Earl's castle is a name to be feared. Ever since the Cathedral of Jaring was finished, William Hanley has become more disgruntled. Some believe he lost his faith and only lives to satisfy his own greed and hunger by stealing from starving peasants. Get in line and stay in line. You'll all get your chance to pay your dues to Lord Hamley, you hear? Wow. So no pushing. That's grim. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.